Alright. Finally. And I'm only saying finally because the reason I played Watch Dogs 1 in the first place was so that I could play this game. I'm only like... I, whenever I play games on the channel, I want to play them in order. So, you know, like whenever we get a chance to play Saints Row, we'll play Saints Row 1, Saints Row 2, Saints Row 3, yada, 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 yada. Maybe not Saints Row 3, but... Well, no, not Saints Row 4. I'm going to keep it up being with you niggas, and for sure not the fifth one. But, um... And the GTA games, I don't know if we'll do those in order necessarily, but what I will say is, is that we'll play GTA 4 before we play GTA 5. And that's as much order as I'm getting with them games, because I'm not about to look up, like, when they released and shit like that, because it's like, you know, it's Vice City, it's San Andreas, they stop numbering them shits, because it's a GTA 3, but then there's more games after G- I'm explaining a whole nother game discogra discography to y'all. Welcome to Watch Dogs 2. <laughs> Fuck you talking about, welcome back, nigga, to the greatest gaming channel motherfucking ever, J the Genius, I am obviously J the Genius, and, um... Yeah, I wonder, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, I wonder if y'all can see my PS gamer tag at the bottom of the screen. Um, I, I hope not, but I mean, shit, if you can, um, notice, yeah, I got it on, uh, I got it on hard difficulty, pause. But, I mean, it's not, I guess my gamer tag isn't really a secret, because that's where our name comes from. I call y'all OSG, because my name on here is Outer Space Perk 30, so... You know, we would be outer space gang or only seeking greatness or like I said, whatever else you can think of that has the letters OSG in it. But yeah, we back. Finally, I get to play this. This is one of my favorite games. I know a lot of people have mixed feelings about this game. A lot of people don't like it. Me, like, I, I, and I, blah, 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 I'm stuttering like shit. For the reasons a lot of people don't like it is why I like this game. I like the goofiness. I like the, the sarcastic jokes. I don't think they're funny. But <laughs> I like the game overall. Like it's really, it's a really fun game, and it's not bad dialogue. I guess that's not really much of a compliment. But I think you're. It's okay to like bad shit. Like I just seen this. Um, and I didn't even watch the video, but I just seen this jo Jordan Fringe. He posted a video called "Uh, Max Keebler is one of my is a bad movie that I love." Like you could like bad shit. It don't gotta sound okay to everybody else as long as you like it. Oh, and I turned the music off, so... Because I don't know what's copyrighted and what's not copyrighted. So, there's no music when we doing shit in the game, and it's not going to be no menu screen music. None of that. Don't you love watching me play games? Mr. Ted's second initiation retro. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to bypass Bloom security doors and get inside. Then, find and erase your personal CTOS profile. Whatever they have on me, it's all bullshit, and I'm sick of getting harassed for it. All the more reason for a purge. I haven't played this shit in a minute. We'll be watching. Try to keep up. But yeah, we got, as you can see, we have all the DLCs, so we gonna do them shits too. But, the way they're set up is like, it's pretty cool, like it's set up the way the rest of the missions are, so I could just do them whenever they pop up. So it's not even gonna have to be a whole separate... Like, it might, I might not even title it nothing different to keep it a being with you. Like, we'll just do the missions whenever they pop up, and that'll just be the Watch Dogs gameplay. Like, I'll probably keep them uh, all in the same playlist. Yo, I gotta, um, I gotta check my, not my analytics, I gotta check my fucking, like, how many more videos I got. Because I think coming up soon, we're gonna be on, like, 150 videos. And, I mean, that's something, that's something special to me. It ain't, it ain't, like, a crazy amount, you know what I mean? But... I don't know. Just the fact that I've been doing this shit for, um, and it's almost been a year now. I want to say we're at like, if it's April right now. Oh, wow. Um, it's, yeah, it'll be a, yo, you want to hear some trauma shit? <laughs> Listen, <clears throat> I started this around the time my birthday was. I started, my birthday is in the month of June. I'm not going to say the exact date and shit, all, and shit like that because it doesn't matter. But I mean, I'm 20, so I mean, and you know, so you probably can figure out what year I was born. And I, I just didn't tell you what day in June, but it's sometime in June, right? And I, um, I started this YouTube channel on uh, June 13th, but 
I just like if you could you could probably hear the change in my voice because I'm never excited for my birthday, bro. Like I'm never excited for my birthday. And it's not even on some like, oh, I'm just one year closer to death. I'm just one year getting older. I'm just like, I don't know, bro. I'm I'm an introvert, and I don't normally want to do much. Like I don't even really want to get into it. But I guess I'm just never really excited for my birthday. Like I feel like, like. The way I well, like the way I used to hit my homies up and shit for like my like for their birthdays to see like yo what we were doing or even just to say happy birthday and niggas just don't do that for me and that shit kind of like you know and I mean I guess I get it like I'm quiet I don't really talk that much but the thing about it is I'm not expecting like everybody on my Instagram to say happy birthday I'm talking about like my close friends type shit so that shit just kind of like you know. It kind of make you feel bad, like, not to get too deep into it, because I don't want to sit on here and complain, but just on some, like, you know, like, I look at niggas like my brothers, and it's just, like, I just wish, you know, that, I guess, I just, I don't know, this is a thing I've been learning, that in life, nobody's ever going to treat you like you treat them, but I guess I kind of just wish niggas would show up for me like the way I show up for them, and not that I just have the most money You're in the world, but I'm talking about just on some, like, emotional type shit, I'm going to keep it a bean. He's not in. But oh well. Gotcha. So that's him. He's got a gun. Is that a problem? Well, problems are why you keep me around, right? Time him. I'm curious. Too late. He's in. Already. I'm that nigga, shorty. I'm that nigga, shorty. Come on now. I feel like I had to say it twice just in case you ain't hear me the first time. Goofy. Bow. Bow. Alright, so I'm gonna flip a coin. I'm I'm not. You know what's crazy? It's the first episode, and I'm already talking about the next gameplay. But I'm gonna flip a coin. Because I, I got the um the GTA definitive. The home domain awareness. Let me shut up. That retro? Yes. We told you that already? Yeah, I never listened. I got the GTA Definitive Edition, like the packs, so I got all three of the games. And I didn't want to start with San Andreas just because I played that one the most. And I've never played GTA 3 or Vice City before, so I was thinking we were either going to start with one of those or Dead Rising 2, a game that I've played before. <laughs> just because I really like that game. Like an angry cripple, man, don't push me. So what's his deal? He was raised in Oakland, but was born in... <laughs> Do they know I can is, hear them? He's been hanging around the dead sec IRC, and he's got cred. Why does she just Figured laugh like that? <laughs> you know what I fucking hate? Like, one of my pet peeves? I hate when, like, you ask somebody something, and, like, to be sarcastic, they let out the, like, the, just the, the lamest most... Oh, <laughs> like, nigga, answer my fucking question. I fucking hate when you ask some people, eight people some shit, and then they're sarcastic, and then they be like, "Why you don't say nothing? Why you didn't ask for help?" Dickhead, because I didn't feel like it, like hearing the, one of these lame ass jokes you had for a simple question. I had a fucking chemistry teacher that was good for that shit. Like this big bitch will always have just some sarcastic shit to say. Like, what the fuck, bitch? Are we at split ends? What the fuck, huh? We at split sides, bitch? Are we are we at the fucking laugh factory? Or are we in chemistry class? Fuck is wrong with you right now? But like one time I even said to her, I'm like, bro, you didn't even have to do all that. I just needed to answer. She was like, oh, I gave you an answer. It was just a sarcastic one. So it's like, bitch, you know you're sarcastic, and you think that this is like, like it's nothing wrong with being sarcastic, but like you're, you think it's okay to be a sarcastic teacher, like <laughs> when nobody was even being sarcastic to you. Fuck is wrong with you? But then you wonder why niggas just, oh, I was about to, No, fuck it, I'm gonna say it Then you wonder why these kids in this classroom don't fucking respect you And I'm not talking about all teachers I'm talking about teachers like that Like, I just seen the clip Of this lady yelling at these kids on the bus Like, cursing them out, talking about some I know, I've seen two clips today of, of some teacher shit That pissed me off, and I always wish That I was in these situations with some teachers Cause, like, that would be the day I would have to park a teacher I was never one of them kids. I was never like a, a fighter. Like I never had a reason to fight. I got in like 
my entire life, I want to say I got on like, I want to say two, maybe three fights. Like, I just have never had a reason to fight. But I'm going to tell y'all two reasons that would make me park a teacher. Because I was never even one of them kids. Like, I would talk back to the teacher, but only to a certain extent. Like, it was niggas cursing teachers out, calling teachers bitch. I got a homie that called the teacher a bitch one time, allowed his shit in class. And then, I, I haven't even got to what I was, uh, what I was trying to say. But look, this is the fucked up part about fucking sixth graders. These rat ass niggas all told on them. They, she, the teacher didn't even threaten nobody. She was just like, who said that? And they was like, I ain't gonna say his name, but they was like, they was like, rock boy. Yeah, I almost said his name, but they was like, you know, his name, I, I, I'm stuttering like shit. Yo, I fucking, I died so that I could, like, do this shit the right way. Damn, I wish this was later on in the game and I had bombs or something so I could kill myself. I ain't gonna lie, I, it don't really matter, fuck it, we'll, we'll just get up there, it don't really matter like that. Um... But yeah, they all told on the homie, and I mean, he shouldn't have said it, but I mean, shouldn't be, shouldn't have been being a bitch, I ain't gonna lie, what the fuck you talking about? Cause look, this is the same teacher to where, like, she sent me out the class one day, right, and I had this one punk ass teacher in fucking fifth grade. That lady was a, that lady was a bitch, she was a fucking horrible teacher, like, a, a terrible, bad teacher, and I, like, any problem I had with a teacher, I wouldn't go so far to say that they were a bad teacher. My fifth grade teacher was a fucking bad teacher, fuck that lady. That niggas just got passionate. Fuck, I hope she doing it. And that was in fifth grade. That's how you know she was a piece of shit. Fuck that lady. I'm 20 and I'm still mad about this shit. Fuck her. Oh, that bitch life terrible. The fuck? You got a job just so you could come to school and traumatize some kids. Like, bitch, eat, eat a whole bag of dicks. But, um... She basically she was a bad teacher, right? So, and my teacher was being an asshole that day. And I wouldn't even say being an asshole because, like... I was getting kicked out of class about that time in sixth grade. I ain't gonna lie, like, so I had probably, I forget what the interaction was, but she had said something that I didn't like, so on the way walking out of class, I yelled, you're just like Miss Hall. So then she fucking calls my dad and tells her that, and tell, tell, tells her that, and tells him that, and it's just like, you fucking dick eater, why did you, why did you do that? You really felt like you had to get me in trouble that bad to where you had to call my dad and say you're just like Miss Hall. I didn't call you a bitch like the homie did, which I should have. Now, if you're going to fucking call my parents, I should have said I should have said you're such a stupid bitch. Fuck wrong ass. This is exactly why you hear me say shit like I've never had a, a, a favorite teacher. Teachers be fucking like, I don't want to say pieces of shit, but it's like really dickheads. You really felt like you had to get me in trouble that bad to call my parents. I didn't fucking curse you out. I yelled some shit walking out of class. I can't be mad, nigga. The fuck? Nobody's been able to delete their CTOS profile before. Fucking hate you. I fucking hate you, grown niggas that want to take your your anger out on adult on children, nigga, because you don't got nowhere else to do it. But. The shit that pissed me off is I seen I seen this clip of a uh, damn I just booted that nigga in the mouth. Jesus. And that's what I would have did to this teacher. I seen this clip of this teacher and he was talking to some kids in class and I'm I'm assuming it was a white teacher. It couldn't have been a black one cuz cuz of what he said. But the teacher says and I quote, "If I hear y'all drop one more if I hear y'all say nigga one more time, I'm going to come over there and treat you like one." You know how fast I'd have got up and walked to the front. Because I said I would have parked him, but I only would have parked him if he would have escalated it. Because even still, I would have just got up and walked to the principal's office. Because they already, somebody was already recording. That's how we seen the video. So, but I would have just went to the principal's office and told. I'd have told my mama and anything. Like, I would have told my mama on the way to the principal's office. And I would have told her I'm going to the principal's office right now. Like, you need to come up here. This fucking white teacher just called me a nigga. I'm about to punch the shit off this nigga. And then another one, it was this old white bitch, and I think she was in Ohio. <laughs> Which, because, of course she was, right? She fucking got mad at a bunch of kids on the bus, and started getting in their face and cursing them out. And she told one of them kids, and I quote, I'm, If y'all don't straighten out, I'm gonna do some serious ass kicking. I'm gonna put my foot so far up your ass, it's gonna be dangling out your mouth. Yo, bitch, I would've, yo, if I, like, oh my, nigga, if I was a, first of all, cause she was a girl, if I was a girl, I'm firing, off GP, if I'm a girl, I'm firing, fuck is you talking to like that old lady on this bus, guess, I guess nobody's getting to school today, <laughs> but, 
Nigga, like she getting in kids' faces and shit. Like, bitch, don't be mad at me because you drive a fucking bus. I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but it's like nobody fucking told you to be a a, a, a bus driver at a school. And I'm not saying that in a demeaning way. Like, I never could look down on nobody. I y'all say y'all hear me say this all the time, nigga. I work at a cafeteria, and I don't look. And I'm not saying that that's why I can't look down on people, but I'm not looking up from this fucking high horse thinking, oh yeah, my job is just the greatest in the world. How could a nigga ever drive a school bus? But I'm saying. You knew what the fuck you like. What the fuck you ain't just like. What the fuck, you feel me? Like what the isn't it like the magic school bus just just popped up outside your house one day, nigga? Don't you gotta go through like an application for some shit like that, right? Or, or, or am I am I bugging? Are they paying you under the table to drive these children around? What the fuck? Fuck is you a part time school bus driver? Like you you not the regular school bus driver, but the regular nigga got sick, so they called you in. Like you ain't even supposed to be here for real. I'm cracking jokes and shit, but do they got like a, do they got like a temp agency for like school bus drivers or something? So like maybe this is supposed to, <laughs> went for it. <laughs> this is supposed to be like her day off and she mad cause she, she gotta drive these niggas to school now. Like, I'm supposed to be at home watching Golden Girls, I gotta drive you little fuckhead somewhere. But yeah, I don't know, they say she resigned, but that shit, I don't like that shit. I don't like it when nobody do it, like I hated it when... I hated it when my mom did it to me growing up. I hate it when I see teachers doing it. Like I just don't like that shit. And like, I just I don't I don't like that. Don't don't like that's 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 just I don't know. As a person that's not the greatest at dealing with their emotions, I just don't like something that I tell myself all the time. Like He's going e even just hold on, I will tell y'all after the cutscene. Because you can't pause cutscenes. It's at least one hundred and twenty degrees in there. And that shit I said earlier, be clear, that wasn't directed towards my mom. I'm just, I Your only been bringing it up because it, it did happen to me growing up. So no, like I was saying, like, far. Oh. this is like the secret cow level. But yeah, like even now, like I have to, I have to, like I drive my little sister to school. I don't want to say every day, but I drive her to school uh, Monday, Mondays through Wednesdays. And then uh, well, and and I go like some Thursdays and Fridays too if she needs it, like when it's raining and shit. I'm not gonna make her walk in the rain and shit, but. What I'm saying is, is sometimes it be traffic on the way to school. It be all this type of shit. And I crack jokes with her and shit in the car. Like, man, I fucking hate kids. Yada, 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 yada. Like, it's always traffic picking you little niggas up. But I don't really take my anger out on her because I have to drop her off. That's not her fault. You get what I'm saying? So, and I guess it's different because those kids might have been on the school bus being rowdy and shit. But nigga, I'm in a bus with my homies. What the fuck you want it to be a silent ride? Drive Uber. Fuck, that's your car. You could really control that shit in there. You could make it smell how you want to. You could tell them people. Oh, I mean, sometimes they be wanting the Uber drivers to shut the fuck up. You could you could be a, a silent Uber driver. All of that, nigga. It don't have to be no type of conversations in there. Because when I get in the Uber, I don't want to talk. And I'm pretty sure you don't want to talk. So, huh. Look, look at that. It's it's like it's almost like they have other jobs for you to do. This is bullshit. <laughs> you feel me? And like again, that's why I said that shit that I said earlier wasn't directed towards my mom, cause my mom, like, it's different. She didn't, like, it's not like it's not driving a school bus. I guess is what I'm saying. Like, most people, I well, mean, you choose I to be a just... parent, but most people are parenting out of the love for that they're gonna have for the child. Whereas you can be a school bus driver just because you need money. But that's kind of my point. Just because you need money, you could do something the fuck else. Don't take this shit out on these kids, nigga, because you having a bad day today. Call the fuck out. Get a new job. And I know I know, getting a new job isn't that easy because I'm trying to get a new job right now. But I guess what I'm saying is I'm also not treating the people at my job like shit because... Like, I'm not... If a nigga come up and buy a slice of pizza, I'm not giving him an attitude because, nigga, I don't want to sit here and sell these fucking pizza slices all day. Fuck wrong with all... <laughs> 
<laughs> Fuck wrong with y'all with these lunch rushes. It'd be a bunch of you niggas coming in at one time. Y'all gonna have a single file, a single order file line. Niggas keep trying to get eye contact with me to get these pizza slices. Y'all gonna motherfucking wait. Like, what do I? What am I, the pizza boss, nigga? What am I, Papa John's? The fuck? No, because I'm not racist, but my, <laughs> but my point is, is like, you feel me? Like, I don't like that shit, and I, I like, I, I don't like that with anybody. I feel like a wife of a billionaire. That sounds like me. Come on now. I feel like you just shouldn't, you shouldn't take your anger out on children. Just gonna drop a little backdoor into the system so I can get back inside later. Sorry, Bloom. We really, I don't think. Business. Really, I don't think you should take your anger out on anybody. I feel like you should He's deal with that out. shit your fucking Bang. self, yeah. but especially not no kids. Ethan's out cold. We got an intruder. Lock down the exit and send someone to check him out. Look at me going on a going on a little a little tyrant on a little rant. Yo, another thing that I gotta rant about, I ain't gonna lie. I don't watch basketball, right? And I feel like you might know where I'm going with this next topic. But I want to talk about the Andrew Reese situation. And I wish I knew the other girl's name. Because I don't want to just call her the white girl. Because I feel like that's disrespectful. But there's a clip. There's, um. Basically, Andrew Reese. And I think they say she got 15 points. Which, like. I got, oh, man. Like my fucking brain is scrambling. Because a lot of shit bothered me about this. So, and look, just so that you know where I'm standing, where I, what side I stand on before I get into this. Shout out to Andrew Reese and for them getting that motherfucking championship. That's whose side I'm on in this. I want to be very fucking clear. Because what I don't like is that you niggas, like, bro, and I don't even want to sound like this, but like, bro, how fucking pussyfied are we? And I feel like pussyfied is the wrong word to use for, like, a WNBA topic that probably sounds wild sexist. But what I'm saying is, it's like, nigga. What the fuck is going on the way you, you can't trash talk and nigga celebrate during the WNBA? What are we talking about right now? They say nigga Steve Nash or one of them old white players used to dead ass get mad when they brought another white player in front of him because he thought that that was disrespect. Like Larry Bird or some shit like that is known for king of the trash talk. So I don't like that everybody's calling her unsportsmanlike for doing the same thing to the girl that she like. You feel me? Now, and I, I wish I knew the other girl's name. I think it's like Caitlyn or something like that. Please go look this look this stuff up because I don't want to just be ignorant and refer to her as the white girl. But the other girl that she did it to, basically she did this like, and you can't see me, so for lack of a better word, she put four fingers up and kind of like waved them in front of her face. Almost on some John Cena, you can't see me type shit. She did it to a, um, to a girl on the opposing team. Now, one, I didn't have a problem with that in general, but the reason why I super don't have a fucking problem with it is because there's a clip of that girl doing that exact same thing to somebody else now they're trying to make it a different thing because oh angel reese fucking she she ran down and got in her face and whoopty whoopty whoop and it's like i didn't I, what the fuck i didn't punch her nigga what the fuck like i guess what i'm saying is, is when is a celebration looked at as disrespect and when is it looked at as just a celebration because nigga if i wait hold on does he is he gonna say something hold it right there help him where the fuck i'm gonna go Josh, mm. okay, okay. I said, where the fuck am I gonna go? Listen, if I break your ankles, right? Fuck you, Bloom. If I break your ankles, make you fall, shoot a three ball in your face, and then I do the ice in my veins, D'Angelo Russell shit. Is that not disrespectful, right? Because, and let's say when I did all of that, let's say I didn't have no ill will in my heart. Let's say I'm just trying to get the play done, right? But let's say, I'm going to give you a different scenario. Let's say I have all the venom in my heart for you. All the venom in my heart, but I don't even do nothing that's that crazy. Like, let's say, like, they set a screen, I get open, I, like, you feel me? I get you off me on the screen, I shoot the Ball, it go in and I do the same thing. When is it unsportsmanlike and when is it not? Like you can't prove intent. You don't. You can't prove that that girl was trying to be malicious with it, nigga. I got 15 points and we got a fucking championship. I'm talking all the shit in the world. I'm trying to get in shorty head. Niggas is acting like. And look, I'm sorry for talking over, uh, talking over this shit, but I, I feel like y'all don't give a fuck about this. I'm sorry. But I mean, if you do shit, just look at the subtitles. But, <laughs> nigga, uh, what I'm saying is, is like, niggas is acting like this is that episode of of uh the Boom Docs where Riley told that girl, I see your I see your mama giving up neck in the Woodcrest bathroom, and it wasn't till and it wasn't your daddy. 
and mobile device. <laughs> he told that girl, he said, Your mom do coke when she think nobody looking. <laughs> you may think that you are immune or underestimate the risk, but your <laughs> What the fuck? Like, ain't, like, you feel me? Shorty ain't go out there and have a yo mama session, nigga. Like, I didn't. I did some shit that she did. Where, when is it like, I guess what I'm saying is, is when is it disrespect and when is it not? Is it because she didn't get in somebody's face? Is that what it is? Because that's not disrespect. That's just, I'm, I'm not pussy and you are. <laughs> I me mean, and I'm not saying that the other girl is pussy, and I'm not. I'm not saying that Andrew. I'm not saying nobody in this situation is pussy. Let me be clear, because I don't know either of them. I don't know how. I don't know how either of them operate or none of that. But what I'm saying is, is you did it from down the court, and I got in your face and did it. When is it disrespect? She didn't push her. She didn't say it. Nigga, she didn't get on her coolie shit. She didn't say dick up. Like what the fuck? All she said, all she did was the little woo woo woo, and I don't know how many times she did it, but does it matter? Like, when is it disrespect and when is it not? Shout out to Andrew Reese and LSU. Oh. Am I in? I don't even watch basketball, but what that shit just like... Sec. Like, what the fuck? I'm sorry, I don't mean to keep talking over cutscenes. I'll shut up now. I'm Zatara. This sweetheart is Josh, a.k.a. Hot Sauce. Yo, your hot sauce? Yeah, man, I loved your frat house hat. Real talk. Thanks. This weirdo's wrench. The needs of the many. And this Casanova is Horatio. What's up, brother? What's up, man? It's the crew, huh? Took y'all long enough to come get me. Shit. You saw Bloom's bullshit. CTOS isn't just regulating infrastructure. The amount of personal data that thing is collecting is fucking mind-blowing. Yeah. It's big brother and little brother all rolled up into one. Huh? Sees everything you do and tells on you. Thank you, Josh. So what's the fix? Sledgehammers and fire. No. Sledgehammers on fire. I'm sorry. <laughs> all of that data in one place means they can reject your fucking application before you click on it. All of these niggas' sneakers is horrible. Have been free rejected for our credit card. Or your house, or your insurance. That's not even the worst case scenario. All that data in the hands of the government? They'll arrest you for shit before you even do it. Yeah, I've been there. I don't fucking know why. Man, fuck it! Fuck it, man! We're hackers. We we out think we out there. I, I say we tear down the fucking wall. Hey, show everyone what what Bloom's up to, man. Show show the world that their personal data is being used to rob them of their fucking freedoms. Fuck. I installed a back door, so all we gotta do is walk right through. Hold on. What? He installed the back door, so all we have to do is walk through. Bingo. Hey, man. Do you have the time? Oh, yeah, man. I, I got it. I got it. It's kind of late for a night run, isn't it? Hey, what, are you, what are you running from the cops? <laughs> Maybe I am one. Hey, hey you, you look familiar. <laughs> Have a good party. Fucking ping this motherfucker. Fuck you, Bloom. I'm gonna go have a goddamn good time. Even for being drunk, this nigga's still pretty smart. Now, what I'm realizing is that this is going to be a lot longer of a game than I'm thinking it was going to be. Like, if you niggas thought the Sleeping Dogs gameplay was long, pfft, you niggas ain't seen nothing yet. Because I'm not even, like, this next part that we got to do, I'm not even going to be able to do it. This is going to have to wait till tomorrow. But, I mean, shit, you know. I feel like we talked about a lot today. We covered a, we covered a good, decent amount of shit, huh?
You guys got my viewpoint on some things. You know how I feel about things, Hello? huh? Whose phone is this? It's your new phone. Where's my phone? In the ocean, where you threw it, I think. I don't remember. I was pretty smashed. Look, meet us at the hacker space. Where? Check your pics and figure it out. You think he you think he got some butt? Yo bro, I promise y'all this intro is so much better when the music is on. Like this is one of my favorite game intros, but uh, I just I can't I don't want to catch a copyright strike. I'm sorry. I ain't gonna lie. Can I pause it? Can I pause it? Can I pause it? Can I pause it? Cause it might it might have to be fuck these niggas conversation for the one time. Oh yeah, um I'm out this bitch. Um fuck them and whatever they was about to talk about. Y'all hear the conversation next time. Thank you for coming and kicking it with me. Um y'all have a good day doing whatever the fuck you got to do. Have a good day at work. Have a good day at school. Have a good day looking for new jobs like me. Have a good day kicking it. Um. Go get some money. Tell the people that you love that you love them. Focus on yourself. Maintain your mental health. Um, keep <clears throat> keep your head on the swivel at all times. Go watch Billy Madison. Just cause I was when I, I oh no 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 that's not what it's called. It's called it's called Happy. Well I mean watch Billy Madison too because that's funny. But Happy Gilmore is yo this nigga all are all of Adam Sandler's movie titles are like two names. It's like two words. Grown ups, Big Daddy, Happy Gilmore. What's the what's the other one I just said? Um, Billy Madison. Oh no, there's the longest yard, but oh, th another word. <laughs> Nigga, <laughs> I <didn't want> <laughs> my stupid ass. <laughs> I just heard myself out loud. I'm like, wait a minute. Nigga, added a three, another three letter word. Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. All right, yo. I'm out here, man. I'm gonna be back at you niggas later, man. I love y'all, man. OSG on top forever. I'm out.